what are your top three priorities if you are elected? I think the obvious elephant in the room is the pandemic and what it's done to our state. And I'm not sure if any of you saw the headlines in the paper this morning, but April tax collections were down 60%. And that's going to be uh, obviously an issue budgetarily and so forth for the state. And I think we need people that um, have a diversity of experience and you know, in business and other aspects of life that bring a different perspective in our citizen legislature to address that, that issue specifically. Um, another one that I'm uh, very uh, interested in is tax simplification. Uh, I think we kind of get off into all these different pits and curves in the road. You know, for instance, in my office, if I sell a cervical pillow to an individual off the street, it's taxable. But if I prescribe it to a patient, it's not taxable. And, you know, some of those complexities, when we used to have the personal property tax, um, we've eliminated it now on smaller businesses under 100,000, but I think we should keep going in models like that to, to limit the complexity. I used to think it was easier just to send a check or the state a check for 400 bucks than to try and actually inventory everything in the office and take the time and manpower. So, you know, as examples, I would like to see simplification and of course reduction where possible to make it easier just logistically on businesses. And then obviously I have a passion for healthcare and I would like to see improved access to healthcare. And I think we can do a lot better in Idaho in that regard. My first priority in running for office is to number one, restore the voice of our district. I think that uh, there's been a, a uh, sort of disconnect in this district. We had someone appointed by the governor uh, for a short term there and she um, has left office. And so my main goal first and foremost is to reconnect with the voters and ensure that their voice is being heard in the district again. That's number one. Number two, our, our district is changing rapidly. We have uh, farm fields, you know, adjacent to my property and to many properties out here. And those fields are rapidly turning into new subdivisions and we're seeing urbanization uh, occurring rapidly in this district. And so it's a goal of mine to make sure that as those new folks move into the district, um, we've kept this, this district historically very red and uh, there's a risk that that could begin to change. And so my goal is to communicate with the voters. We've got the best ideas on the conservative side of the aisle. It's just a matter of communicating those with the voters, making sure that their voice is being heard and that they can engage as a representative. It's my job to be their employee. And so that's, uh, you know, my number two goal, just to make sure that everyone is engaged and understand what, what is going on in the state at the state house. And then thirdly, I did, um, I did make it known that I have a strong interest as, as my first bill that I'll write uh, to improve our healthcare system in the state. And the number one way I think we can do that is by increasing transparency. Um, we get bills sometimes six months late after we've left a doctor's office. And that's just not acceptable. There's no other industry where that is permitted. And I don't think that's right. And I think we can do a lot more to change that. I know the president's already doing that and I will do more to ensure that that transparency um, exists within our healthcare system. And I'd also uh, be writing that bill to ensure that pricing transparency is right up front 
in cases where it's not an emergency and the patient wants to be able to shop services, I think that is something that most consumers expect. And I will be driving hard to ensure that that occurs in Idaho. Why should voters select you over your opponents? I know we all bring a wealth of experience to the table that is, of course, crucial that we have experience, we understand how the system operates and what we can do to improve it and make things happen for our constituents, our neighbors. And so of course, that's one of the key ingredients. All of us have great experience. I think that's crucial. We also need to make sure that we can communicate effectively with the voters in our district. I'm a fairly young guy still, I'm 34 years old. Um, I've got plenty of energy. I like to engage with people. I've been told many times, you know, I have somewhat large ears. I'm a good listener and I like to work with people to make sure that their ideas are being heard and implemented. And that's exactly, you know, one of the key uh, personal uh, assets that I bring to the table. I will make sure our, our constituents are being heard and represented properly. I think Idahoans have some of the very best ideas across the entire country. People know folks from Idaho have great initiative, they're creative thinkers, and we're very hard workers. And I know that I can bring to the table the skills to listen and make sure that all of those exceptional ideas that they've got are being implemented at the state house. You know, I agree with Eli that experience is important. Um, we have a citizen legislature that lends itself to a diversity of experience. And I might be a generation or two ahead of Eli. And I don't think that precludes me from having a fair supply of energy, though. Um, but it does lend to probably a longer resume and a more diverse personal uh, set of experiences. Everything from joining the Army as a 17-year-old high school senior and working in emergency rooms in San Francisco and San Antonio, Desert Storm veteran. I've been in VA hospitals. Um, I think that is an aspect that lends um, to my candidacy. I've been an employer for 26 years. I've literally seen thousands of resumes. I have a feeling for how the outcome of our educational system is impacted in employability. Um, I've been a property manager for about 25 years. I've dealt with the Americans with Disability Act and as far as uh, doing home to office conversions, that sort of contracting work. I've dealt with city building departments. I understand the complexities uh, to a large degree in, in those examples. I've been an active party participant. I was a delegate to the North Dakota Convention uh, when I was a freshman in college, and I've been actively involved here. I've held numerous positions in the Ada County Republican Party, including, you know, chairman of the party for a couple of years. I've been district chairman. Currently, I'm the state committee man. I've been to virtually every state convention and uh, state central committee as a delegate. I've sat in on the rules and resolutions committees. I've been involved in Idaho or Ada County, Idaho politics very actively for the last 12 years. Um, you know, involved in church, teaching youth program at uh, my church. I, I just it, I think it just comes down to the breadth of experience that we bring to the, uh, to the campaign.